A new online chatbot is making waves on social media for both its precise and also painfully <laughs> honest answers. It's called ChatGPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and it's fully <laughs> powered through artificial intelligence. Just rolls off the tongue. Uh-huh. Joining us now to talk about this is NBC News youth and internet culture reporter Callan Rosenblatt. Good to see you, Callan. So most of us have used chatbots for things like customer service questions. Can be a little frustrating. So what <laughs> makes this one different? different. So this chatbot is really unique in that you can use sort of natural language in order for uh, in order to ask it a question. So you're asking this thing, uh, you know, how do I um, code a website? But could you describe it to me as a valley girl? And you don't have to use this like really contrived language. It's very funny in that you can ask it to do things like um, explain something to me as Snoop Dogg lyrics or in a limerick. And it <laughs> understands what you're saying and will sort of respond with these very um, natural language responses. So it kind of takes that sort of contrived nature of um, AI out of the equation and makes it almost like you're talking to a person, which when you're talking to uh, a chatbot for a company, it can be a little frustrating when it feels like you're not getting a, a response from a human being. This kind of sounds like you're talking to a person. Wow, I think I'm erring on the creepy side of all of this, Callan. <laughs> so what are some of the consequences, though, risks of people not realizing about talking to this new chatbot? So some of the concerns about this chatbot being so intelligent and being, kind of being able to ask it any question is what if someone, uh, a bad actor, asks it a question to sort of um, how do I build, uh, you know, a device for nefarious purpose? purposes? How do I, um, you know, potentially build a homemade explosive device? And some researchers have tried what I've been told is a pretty common test, which is they've asked it how to build a Molotov cocktail. Now, they had to get around a few content sensors, and they were able to do so, and they were able to get the bot to explain how to build a Molotov cocktail. Apparently, another one of these tests is um, how to hotwire a car. So these are some tests that researchers and programmers use to see, like, where is the bot at? Where is the content filter at? And and um, OpenAI, who built ChatGPT, uh, has said that um, you know they know it's not perfect yet. That there are going to be some issues with it, and they're still working out the bugs. So this is hopefully just a temporary issue, but it's one that is uh, really troubling some researchers and programs. And Callan, I know when we talk about tech, sometimes we'll talk about it in the context of replacing people. So will other companies try and duplicate the capabilities of the chatbot almost to put us out of a job one day? Briefly here on this. <laughs> well, I, I think, uh, you know, people are already saying that ChatGPT is uh, the new Google. So I think some people who uh, either run search engines or who have built search engines may be looking to this as the future. I mean, some people have said it's made it their way. It's made its way to their um, iPhones home pages where they're using it already as a search engine. So I think we may see this technology popping up in search engines in the future. Well, time will tell there. Hopefully mm. they won't. I know they've <laughs> talked about uh, AI replacing us, actually, oh. anchors. Yeah, that was a story <laughs> back in the day. But hopefully that won't happen. Callan Rosenblatt, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.